so let's talk about all the different genital ulcers which can be formed and the first one let's talk about is genital herpes the incubation period of herpes is around less than one week the hsv2 is more common and the clinical presentation will be vesicles which are formed this is the only one which has vesicles if there is vesicles it's the option that means it is directly hsv2 and which has an erythematous base it causes painful prolytic lymphadenopathy as well the diagnosis is by swank zank preparation which will show multinucleated giant cells so this is important this is the only one which has a zank preparation and the treatment is acyclovir famcyclovir or valencyclovir so just to recap genital herpes incubation day within one week causative agent is hsv2 clinical presentation is the formation of vesicles on an erythematous base and it will also cause painless prolytic lymphadenopathy diagnosis will be on sac smear where we'll get multinucleated giant cells and also you can do pcr the treatment is acyclovir famcyclovir or valencyclovir coming to the next one the second one which is syphilitic heart canker so you can remember syphilitic heart canker and soft canker which is canker so heart canker is caused by syphilis remember it's a heart disease whereas a cancroid oid is a soft thing so syphilitic uh, the incubation period is 10 days to 90 days average is 21 days and it is caused by the syphilis agent which is treponema pallidum it is everything in syphilis is going to be painless the ulcer is going to be painless as well as a lymphadenopathy is going to be painless whereas everything in cancroid is going to be painful the ulcer is going to be painful as well as the uh, lymphadenopathy is going to be painful so the secret number is you cry makes you cry because everything about it is very painful whereas syphilis is very painless so syphy syphy less is how you can remember so now a uh, single painless ulcer with clean base and a firm raised border and painless lymphadenopathy so diagnosis on clinical diagnosis and the treatment for pin, uh, syphilis is penicillin and ceftriaxone Coming to Dunnaonosis, which is granuloma inguinea, it is the uh, incubation period is around 1 to 12 weeks, which is roughly around 8 to 80 days is the incubation time. It is caused by Klebsiola granulomatosis, Dunnaonosis or granuloma inguinea, where granuloma stands for subcute uh, nodules and inguinea is malab groin. So that is what it means. So you have your nodules which are there, pa uh, they are painless again over here. You have painless nodules which are formed with beefy red granulomatous ulcer with rolled edges. So no, there is no lymphadenopathy, but there is a pseudo bubose uh, uh, which are seen. So this is very important. It gets uh, tested very, very often. The only one with no lymphadenopathy, no lymphadenopathy is donanosis. Whenever they say that there is an ulcer with no lymphadenopathy, it is going to be donanosis. No lymphadenopathy, donanosis. So you can remember no and dono and LN. So no dono ln and it is caused by Klebsiella. So there is a painless papular nodule which is a beefy red granulomatous ulcer. Why granulomatous? Because there is excessive granulation tissue and they have rolled edges. No lymphadenopathy but there are pseudo -bubos. So anytime there are pseudo -bubos which are seen, seen pseudo -bubo, pseudo -bubo is in there in dono. So pseudo -bubo dono. This is how you have to remember. And no, uh, the dono and no stands for no lymphadenopathy. The diagnosis on donovan bodies on biopsy. This donovan bodies on biopsy is then crushed tissue smear and that you will use a uh, gymsa stain. Uh, then the treatment of that is azithromycin and doxycycline. So there is a uh, method for giving this also. Azithromycin is given 1 gram per week for 3 weeks. Or you can give azithromycin 500 mg every day for three weeks. You can also give uh, the next thing which you, you can also give is doxycycline. Coming to soft canker, which we said is the opposite of syphilitic um, canker in terms of it is going to give painful ulcer and painful inguinal lymphadenopathy. So that much is done. Soft canker is caused by hemophilus ducre, H ducre is remember soft canker, H ducre. The uh, incubation period is from 1 to 14 days, so everything under 2 weeks. The, it is based on clinical diagnosis and the treatment of this is azithromycin and ceftriaxone. So azithromycin and ceftriaxone. Coming to LGV which is lymphoma granuloma venosa. So that is 3 days to 6 weeks. Chlamydia, trachomatis, serovas, L1, L2, L3 are going to be causing this LGV. Chlamydia, trachomatis, serovas, L2, L1, L2, L3. 
it causes painless genital ulcer but painful lymphadenopathy how do you remember this lgv will cause like the lgtv you can remember is something that is uh, you the ulcer is going to be ulcer is going to be painless okay so lgv the ulcer see you see on a lgtv we see a uh, tv like a very graphic image which is probably going to be an ulcer so the tv you see it nicely so remember that the tv is nice whereas the ulcer is also painful painless and nice but when it comes to lymphadenopathy that is going to be painful the lymphadenopathy is going to be painful and the diagnosis of lgv is on nat naat which is nucleic acid amplification test and the drug of choice is doxycycline lgv so chlamydia chlamydia trachomatocereus l1 l2 l3 drug of choice is doxy l1 l2 l3 and doxy and it is painless ulcer painful lymphadenopathy